Ion thrusters and solar sails are our best bet at light speed travel right now. Hey, don't tell me. Tell Terrence Howard. He'll find a way to use the hydrogen proton and 1 times 1 equals 2 to really kickstart that. That's what Terrence Howard should do. You want to make me a believer in teriology? Crack faster than light travel with your math. Here, this isn't really new. It's only 137 light years away. The same system also might harbor a second Earth sized planet. Actually, 137 light years, that is close. So if we never figure out faster than light travel, we could probably get there in a few thousand years. Just Google Super Earth, it literally looks like an eyeball. Oh, okay. Webb's Super Earth Discovery. Potentially habitable world, habitable world just 48 light years away. Hey, wait a minute. That's that's kind of like a little cosmic walk. That's not far. And that does look like an eyeball. That's very cool. It is an exoplanet. A few months in slip space. This seems cool. All we need to do now is crack faster than light travel. Wormholes. Imagine flying there and finding out it was just a bug on the telescope lens. That would be big. that would be big. Well, with the telescope, I'm sure you could zoom in far enough to. I mean, with the James Webb, it's so crazy. You could probably like zoom in into the planet and then like into the the uh, grains of sand on the planet. Our telescope technology is crazy. We could absolutely, at some point in the future, be able to see if there's any living creatures on that planet. Aren't microscopes maxed out? James Webb is probably as close to maxed out of a telescope as you can get. I know you meant telescope, not microscope, by the way. But I'm sure we'd find a way to push it further. We would see the planet 40 years in the past. Which is still good enough if there's life there. I doubt, I mean, 40 years is really, really not bad when it comes to life. You could definitely get a, a good gauge. Super Earth, the thing from Fortnite? Yep, that's the one. How long do you think until we find a livable planet close close to us to travel within our lifespan? That's not going to happen. There, There's no planet that's going to be somewhat... Do you mean like a planet with life on it or habitable? Because, I mean, you can find habitable planets like Mars is like habitable. 
Do you mean like planets with life on it? Mars kind of though. Mars kind of boring, yeah. Because pretty much we'd never be able to go to any of these planets, like this one, ever, unless we've cracked faster than light travel, or something similar. Because 48 light years would be hundreds of thousands of years worth of travel at less than faster than light, tra at less than faster than light speed. Because it takes 48 years at light speed to get there. I do remember that goodness. We haven't even figured out how to go faster than 1% light speed. Not technically true. Like the... Um, God, what was that experiment? And not faster than light by any means, but there was that experiment about... Was it wormholes? Christ, I can't remember. Where they actually sent a particle back in time like a second because it went fast enough or something. Was that wormholes? I can't remember now. It's been a while since we went over that one. Warp drives incoming is so true. Thanks, resub speed. Yeah, just talked about that earlier, Jason. We may be able to reach this planet if we use Terryology. I know. That's what Terrence Howard should do. You want to make me a believer in Terryology? Crack faster than light travel with your math. I appreciate it, Angel. Yeah, it's somewhere on there. Imagine if he does, though. If Terrence Howard cracks faster than light travel, I'll suck his. Uh, I, I'll, I'd lose my mind. It's not possible though. Terrence Howard will. I. I'm gonna go on record and say it. Terrence Howard will never invent anything that actually works with his math. If he ever invents something, he's going to be using already established correct calculations. I don't think he'll ever actually make something with his math. Hey, congrats, Abram. Now you got me rooting for him? Hey, if he does it, all power to him. That advances humanity <laughs> so far. Is it scientist? I heard it's not even close to possible yet. Maybe, though. Ion thrusters and solar sails are our best bet at light speed travel right now. Hey, don't tell me. Tell Terrence Howard. He'll find a way to use the hydrogen proton and 1 times 1 equals 2 to really kickstart that. Not only will he crack faster than light travel, he'll find 5x light travel. So, 48 years away? No siree. He'll do it in 5. All right, sleep well, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye-bye. See you soon.